Hey now, my name is Keith Apicari. I'm 27 years old, and I love video games, but we're talking classics here. I would say that any arcade game is a great system, but you're looking at Neo Geo. Neo Geo is legendary. Legendary. The system is legendary. Legendary. Hang on, I have to spit. <coughs> Sorry. I just had my wisdom teeth taken out, so my mouth is generating lots of excess saliva. Neo Geo was, is, and will always be the greatest video game developer of our time. Forget PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 and Wii. We're talking Neo Geo all the way. Metal Thug, Samurai Showdown, Final Fight. Final Fight's the reason we have Street Fighter. Come on, people. Neo Geo is the greatest system of our time. I will always be faithful to Neo Geo. You could say that I'm a, a Neo Nazi. No way, you couldn't say that. Don't say that. My friends, they call me the Reeker, because I'm always wreaking havoc on this game. They, they can't touch me, they can't touch me, they know. Watch, I'm not beat this guy, they'll even look at the screen. Okay, I look real quick. Technically, gaming began in the 1960s, when they invented games. But let's get serious. We all know the 1980s came along and took a revolutionary dump on us, and that's when the real fun started. <laughs> Okay, this is really easy. This is like a uh, strength battle. All right, obviously just one conclusion. I belong to an online society of fellow retro video game lovers. It's a website called racketboy.com. It's a really great place. It's a great online community. Com community. We are a great online community. <laughs> it's a great online community place where you can talk about stuff with your friends and just hang out with guys and you know post video games that you want to sell look for games you want to buy from other guys you can post your high scores you can talk about girls dogs doesn't really matter you can post any subject that you want and your friends will respond to you it's just like going to a country club and hang out with the guys there that play country club tennis games and stuff. The only difference is you don't have to go there to go there. Because you're there all the time as long as you got an com online connection. I use Wi-Fi. Okay, so he just beat me again. So I lost, that's the third batch. That's all right. I can always play a game, it's in my house. Now what you're looking at right now is Nintendo's Virtual Boy. I went ahead and I invented a head strap so that I could wear the system at all times. I can walk around town freely as I please, see the sights, maybe go to a store and buy a cake, to write a letter to somebody. You know, it's not, it's this very unrestricting video game system. If it sounds like it's hard to understand what I'm saying, it's because the system is crushing my nose right now. It weighs a lot. It hurts my nose pretty bad, so I think I'm going to take it off. That's about enough for me. He can do special moves. He can, like, stick his dog on the guy. It's pretty cool. I'd like to have a dog like that, you know? A dog that can come in and kill somebody if you want. Like, if you knew somebody who had to be dead and uh, you didn't want to have to make them get dead personally. You can just have like your ninja dog do it for you. The world of gaming is huge. If you were to take all the video game players in the world and put them in one place, you'd have enough people to run an entire store, like a PetSmart. PetSmart's are pretty big. That's one thing that's kind of annoying about this game, is that they say really funny phrases every time you beat somebody, or if you lose, it says, sorry, I don't have time for losers. But you can't read them all the time because it says it too fast. But they're really funny if you can get a chance to read really quick and see what it says. <laughs> Cracks me up. 
Plus, you go arcade, you go to the you snacks, you record, you fill the machines, you spend tons of money, you use your system, you set up the second genesis system, you come back to your house, you see your sandals, you see your shirt, and you tell everybody's going to find that. It's like, <laughs> that's ridiculous. Who's going to do that? There's no one. <laughs>